I'm in the process of putting together some videos on some Harbor Freight lights for the bicycle. I have one already on the LED tail light. I have one upcoming on the LED headlight, as well as some day and nighttime footage of both. But before I got to the headlight, I thought it might be important for me to go over what I actually use as a headlight. This is the Bontrager Ion 700R. This is a 700 lumen headlight, very, very bright. It is very compact. It's metal framed, so you have an actual metal casing on it, and then some lower plastic where this housing goes in. It has not only the headlight, but some yellow flashing side indicator lights. It is waterproof. To charge it, you just open up this little port, insert your micro USB cable, and as long as you seal that back up, it is waterproof. It can handle daylight or excuse me, it can handle rain or any water that it is exposed to. Now this light, if you don't know, Bontrager is Trek's in-house brand. Uh, so it used to be its own brand, but Trek bought it. So very quality products with Bontrager. We'll get to the light modes on this, but let's just show what it comes with. It comes with your instructions in multiple languages. It comes with this mount. Pull this out, and this is just a basic rubber bond trigger mount, like many of the, like the GoTime computer and so on. It just has a mount for this light on the top, but you stretch it, clip it on itself, it'll fit just about any handlebar size you could run across. You also, inside this, you get a micro USB cable for charging your bond trigger light. I don't use that. I actually have a longer USB cable that I use. But let's look at the light modes on this thing, because it has about four different modes that you can go through. Let's go over a couple of things about this light. By the way, charging it takes a few hours. Plug it up and charge, and it has varying hours of use, depending upon what you select. See here, if you select high, which is 700 lumens, you get 1.75 hours of run time. And that shows you as 2C. And during bright daylight, you have no problem seeing 700 lumens. Have a medium setting, which is 450 lumens, runs for 3 hours. A low setting of 200, runs for 6.5 hours. A 50 flash, which is uh, 22 hours, and that's to be seen. That's actually at nighttime it works well on that to be seen. On the daytime, I use this strobe, and that's a variable flash. It fluctuates between 50 and 700 lumens, and it runs up to 45 hours. And I've had this thing, I believe now, about a month, and I have yet to have to recharge it. It's still a green light when I turn it on, so it runs quite a long time on this strobe, and I use this at least 30 minutes every day. So it goes for quite a while on that. But let's just go through some of the... Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and show you this too. Uh, this is the indicators, and they indicate on this when you turn it on. You'll see that glows. You'll see here it's on that strobe flash click and hold to turn off but that little button will illuminate green if it has more than 25 percent battery red between 10 and 25 percent and it'll start blinking red at less than 10 so when you definitely need to charge it i usually charge them when they just go solid red on all my bontrager components before we get this thing outside and show it in both daylight and nighttime, let's just look at the modes. And again, to turn on, you just press once. To turn it on, to turn it off, you press and hold. And you have here, and turn it on, you see that green indicator letting us know we have over 25% of our battery. This is actually the 50. This is the low strobe. This is what you would use at nighttime to be seen. You can see it even flashes those yellow side indicators, yellow, orange, actually orangish, or amber side indicators, but very, very bright. Even I can't look into this. Uh, you can see on the wall there and on the seat, still bright, even in the room. You can actually still see this during the daylight hours. Now I'm going to go to, this is the strobe. This is what I use during daylight. This varies 700 lumens down to I believe the 50 just at random patterns very very easy to be seen with this and very bright this is the solid 700 lumens and again i mean just shining this so the camera doesn't show we'll see more when we get out but very bright 
will wash out headlights, or excuse me, signs, street signs. You can see it glaring in the signs even during daylight. That will only run for 1.75 hours. This is the medium. Equally, or not equally bright, it's actually 450 lumens, but still very, very bright. And then, of course, back to, oh, excuse me, low. Forgot about low. This is 200 lumens, so if you needed a steady light at nighttime and you were facing traffic but you still wanted a steady light, you could use this. It will run up to 6.75 hours on the 200 lumens, and this should be back to our 50 strobe, yeah, our low power strobe. Okay, turn this off. And we are going to mount this to the bicycle. I actually have a blender mount. Let me get around to show you that. See it here actually under my handlebar. But now this thing comes with this mount. And to mount it, it's very simple. You just put it on your bar, stretch it around, and then you can just slide your light on to clip it in place. Let me go ahead and mount it so you can see what it would look like mounted on the standard handlebar. Again, I just slide it in. And I'm going to click it into place, and there it is, mounted on a standard handlebar mount that comes with the light. But in my case, get this off of here. I'll leave that on for now. I just turn it upside down. So you take the unit, you turn it upside down, and I just slide it into my blender mount, click it into place, and there I have it on my bike mounted very unobtrusively and still allows my camera to be mounted without everything getting in the way and cluttering up my handlebars. It's one of the benefits of Blender. I like this system. The only downside to this is getting to the power button. You have to kind of reach in between cables and I can't see my battery status light without bending down and looking under the unit. So obviously a top mount would be better. Now to be fair, I could mount this up high and mount my camera low, but I prefer to have my camera up higher and more visible. It helps me not forget it when I park my bike. All right, but that is it. Now let's get it outside and see how this thing looks. I'll show two daytime modes that I use. This is the 700 lumen constant on. Now this video doesn't do this justice. You actually can't look directly into this in person. It's just too bright. There's also the daytime strobe, varies from 50 to 700 lumens. Again, this video doesn't do it justice, very bright, very noticeable. This is the mode that I run when I bike during the day. Here I will cycle through all the modes on the light. This building is 80 feet away and you can't see it without the headlight on. So this really illuminates well. This is the 700, the 450, the 50, the 50 strobe, and then the 700 variable strobe, and finally back to 700 full. That's the Bontrager Ion 700R. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.